An audiophile's dream, VPI turntables make you sit up and listen. Vinyl produces a sound no CD can match. If digital is on, I do the laundry, I play with the dog. For the hardcore music lover, nothing sounds like a needle on a groove. Turn the record on, I sit there and listen, because it sounds right. It may look vintage, but the Classic One model is simply state of the art. At 65 pounds, it's virtually vibration free. A sound as smooth as Barry White, with the sex appeal of Mick Jagger. A turntable's a sexy thing. It's hot. Sound waves have been etched in grooves since the 1800s. To this day, records still have a more complete sound than digital. In New Jersey, VPI has kept records spinning since 1978. With its unique look and pristine sound, this turntable has a lot of groupies. You would not believe it. It goes from uh, bankers to uh, truck drivers. They're all after the full audio spectrum only vinyl can deliver. For a record to play perfectly, it has to have zero vibration. It's like a sausage hitting a pillow. It just doesn't vibrate. What eliminates vibration is weight. And this finished turntable weighs a whopping 65 pounds. It all begins with a chassis. Made of MDF, it's more dense than wood, and more weight means less vibration. First, a steel plate is glued on top. And then we put it right down and make a solid sandwich here. An AC motor is installed. Like a clock, it keeps a constant speed that will keep the record spinning at a perfect RPM. So when this motor's in there, you want to spill it do its job without messing everyone else's job up. Wires aren't soldered so that repairs can be made easily. If this table uh, breaks down and you live in uh, Wyoming on a mountain, you can fix this turntable. One of the keys to this vibration-free turntable is its fancy feet. You actually have three little ball bearings that go in there. So it's not actually sitting on this whole foot. It's just sitting on, on those three small surfaces there. So you want there to be as little contact with the rest of the world as possible. Turntables convert the tiny vibrations in the grooves into sound, so they are very sensitive to any reverberations in a room. Whatever vibrations there are in the house, you don't want that to translate through your furniture, through the feet, into your table. Next comes the platter. Made of aircraft-grade aluminum, it weighs 20 pounds. It starts out as a slug and is milled in a CNC lathing machine. A steel plate glued into the bottom makes it even more solid. The more weight you have, the more solid the sound is, the more solid the structure is. The heavyweight Classic One model came out in 2008. Designer Harry Weisfeld took inspiration from the 1960s ideals of solid materials and old-school craftsmanship. He just took uh, the best of old technology and re-engineered everything and uh, made the classic. VPI started in 1978 when audiophile Harry wanted an affordable record cleaner, and he did such a good job making it that other people wanted it too. The good news is we have all these orders. The bad news is now we have to make them. <laughs> so it was really like... He sold 500 cleaning machines in a month, and VPI was born. Then he turned his sights to turntables. That's right around the time when CD was coming in. Turntable manufacturers were, you know, were getting nervous. I still wanted to make a nice turntable. Despite the threat from CDs, music aficionados snapped up as turntables. Along with a solid bass, a good turntable needs a balanced tone arm. This one comes in 9, 10, and 12 inches. I wire all the tone arm for the JMW 9-inch, 10-inch, and 12 inches. The tone arm is a unipivot, meaning it rests on one point. A counterweight stabilizes it. I set the height like this, and put the super glue to hold it. Super glue, low tech, but effective. Then an azimuth ring is attached to help balance the arm. Azimuth is the lateral balance. Think of it as like, almost like a scale. You have to get the weight in the back, and the weight in the front of the car is correct, while also keeping everything on the side correct as well. With the wires, counterweight, and azimuth ring in place, the arm is cleaned up. This arm is really. At the end of the arm is the cartridge that holds the needle and the diamond tip that rides the grooves of the record. The needle is aligned, and the weight of the diamond is checked. 
the azimuth, or levelness, is adjusted. It's perfect. With all the pieces in place, this turntable is ready to play. This is essentially all set. Constructed with care out of groovy materials and state-of-the-art technology, this turntable is for anybody that wants to sit up and listen. People call up and say, for the first time in 20 years, I'm sitting there and listening to my music.